Forget gurus. Forget anyone claiming to be an online business expert without going through the challenges of entrepreneurship themselves. The Real Money, Real Business podcast is here to prove the best insights in online business comes from your fellow online business builders. We dig into stories of entrepreneurs selling their business on the Empire Flippers marketplace so that you can learn how they made their business profitable, how they overcame obstacles, and what lessons they learned in their online journey. If you want to take your business and your knowledge to the next level, you've come to the right podcast. Let's get started. Hello, everyone. Craig here with another great business to discuss on this episode of the Real Money, Real Business podcast. Today's guests are Thomas and Andrew, and they're selling their Amazon Associates display advertising and affiliate business on the Empire Flippers Marketplace. So welcome to the show. How are you both doing today? Yeah, very well. Thank you. Yeah, fantastic. Glad to be on it. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to talking more about your business. But before we dive in, let's go over a brief summary of the business. It's an Amazon Associates display advertising and affiliate business in the equipment and home niches created in December 2016. The average monthly revenue for the business is all $7,777, and it makes an average of $5,434 net profit each month. For everyone listening, you can visit empireflippers.com forward slash marketplace and search for listing 55427 to learn more about the business, or you can unlock this listing to start your due diligence if you're interested in purchasing this asset. So now that I've given a general overview of the business, let's have a look at what's included in the sale. We have the domain and all site content and files, an email list with 200 subscribers, and SOPs for business and content related tasks. Okay, now let's hear from you two. Can you tell us a little about your backgrounds in building and running online businesses? I guess starting with Thomas, just out run. Yeah, so I started my first online business when I was 13. Just built a website, got into SEO, and then things sort of progressed from there. Built different online assets and bought and sold different sites. And then Andrew and I came together probably five or six years ago and started building out different websites, testing different things, e-commerce, dropship, and then settled on this current business model of what we have with this site and yeah we've sort of gone from there really and now we're sort of selling off different assets and moving into other things yeah so my background yeah i started off with actually pc and network support and yeah moved into programming and then around 2010 i started creating wordpress themes for theme forest and become one of the top authors on there, one of the best selling themes, top three selling themes for three to four years. Then, as Thomas said, we came together in 2015, I think, and started working on e-commerce, dropship and affiliate sites. And since then, we've just kind of um, built up uh, quite a few sites and then sold them on. And this is one of our, if not the last uh, project that we've got. And again, as Thomas said, we're, we're kind of moving into different things now. So, yeah, that's um, that's pretty much it. Yeah, well, it sounds like you both had a wide breadth of experience before getting into the business that we have for sale today. So bear in mind your journey, how you got to this point. How come was it that you came up with the idea to start this business in particular? Yeah, we basically saw other different sites in other niches that were sort of doing really well with this kind of business model. And we just sort of looked at it and we're like, we can do a much better job. Like bringing our skills together, we can improve sort of basically every aspect of what they're currently doing. So that's pretty much what we've done over the past five or six years with different websites and this one. Yeah, and brought everything together and it's it's been really successful. So what was it that you identified in other sites that were lacking and then sort of how did you use that knowledge to build the site? I think back in the early days of affiliate sites, there wasn't really a kind of a process, you know, or a format which was easy to kind of roll out. It was a very manual process in links and manually linking images or, you know, copy and code in from Amazon. And so with my background, I actually created a kind of a product management system and we're able to roll out pages much quicker. And that's when we kind of were able to then create the blueprint and roll that out across different niches basically so yeah we were just kind of able to produce more content with better cro better online on-page seo as well and i think that that did us really well and we were able to kind of overtake quite a lot of the people who were ranking at that time 
Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And um, so you've built this business, and I see it's monetized through Amazon Associates, display advertising, and affiliate. And could you just talk us through like how the business makes money and how you sort of introduce those revenue streams? Yeah, so predominantly the site makes money from Amazon US. Basically, probably a year and a half ago, maybe. Obviously, Amazon cut their commissions especially for this niche. So we saw a little bit of a decline in, in revenue on that, which actually was a blessing in disguise because that kind of forced us to look at different revenue channels, basically. So we've got Ad Thrive on there, which is very, very lucrative. We then started looking at other affiliate deals. So then we have a few other ones that we go direct with. And also with Ad Thrive as well, if someone takes on this site, they also then got direct access to AdThrive. So normally you have to have over 100,000 monthly page views on your site before you can apply. But if you've already got an account, you can then bypass that and start making revenue on a very low traffic site, which is a huge benefit. Yeah, that is a huge benefit and something that is rather unique. So how come is it that you're selling the business right now then? Yeah, so there's a number of reasons really. One of the sort of main ones is moving countries next year. So it'd just be good to sell up different assets with that and sort of closing things down. We also want to invest in property each as well. And we've both got our own major projects that we're working on individually, which is why we don't spend anywhere near the amount of time that we used to spend on in this project. Yeah, so that's sort of the main sort of reasons. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Is there anything you've learned from building this site that you would apply to future sites or businesses? I think the main thing is really is keeping on topic and you know, becoming a really a real authority in the subjects on the site. You know, we've been guilty of creating sites which kind of went after every product under the sun. And, you know, since then, Google have really kind of, you know, kind of focused on, you know, what sites are actually you know, providing real value you know, kind of an authority in that niche. So this particular site is an example of that. We focused on that particular niche and just built it out. But yeah, going forward, it would certainly be, yeah, narrow down the subject as much as possible and become an authority in that subject. Yeah, and I guess would go without saying to say that part of your sort of SEO strategy, mainly like the quality of content, was it at the core of that? Yeah, quality of content is obviously a huge thing. Like we've now got like very experienced writers on board. Notice that that was obviously a huge thing with the whole EAT sort of thing. So we've really made an effort to get writers with a really solid background on this actual topic and a proper paper trail as well. And then in, in addition to that, in terms of the SEO strategy, we've always made sure to get quality links. So we always do proper outreach. We don't use PBNs anything scammy like that that's why it's had just such a solid foundation and obviously when you look at the backlink profile you can see the real power that it has behind it as well yeah that's great to have any content business just that solid seo structure to keep it sustainable as a business on the flip side of things though was there anything that you tried with this site that didn't work out for you not so much because we made so many mistakes with previous websites but we kind of found that we created a solid blueprint. And you said one of the main things that we did on this was kept on topic. I think that was a big downfall on a previous site that we had. So it was definitely a lesson learned. But yeah, apart from that, I'm good, really. Yeah, I guess that's the benefit of having that experience behind you. You've made all the mistakes previously, and then with this site, it sort of works out better. So you mentioned that SEO was a big part of the growth strategy. Do you do any other terms of marketing and get traffic from any other sources? Not so much, mainly because SEO has just been our sort of forte with things. We don't really have a lot of experience in paid traffic or anything like that. You know, it's sort of the thing of like stick to what you know and keep on that track and, and it will be successful type thing. So that's exactly what we've done with this. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So looking forward then, if you were to keep the business, what are some ways that you would try to grow it? I think one of the main areas that I would focus attention on is probably YouTube and the likes of video content, uh, really, just because, you know, obviously that medium is more popular than ever and there's, there's no signs of it slowing down. So creating a YouTube channel and releasing videos with informative content and what have you will just only help build the brand up 
and it can help pass traffic back to the site and probably help with uh, SEO as well. So all in all, like just raising brand awareness. So I think YouTube especially would be the first step to take. Yeah, it's a really good point with YouTube. I think definitely a lot of scope there, especially as a lot more people are searching on YouTube for things as well. I think in addition to that, if we knew paid traffic, that's 100% an avenue we go. Like I'm still seeing very, very large affiliate sites now popping up on Google ads. And when you sort of look at the amount of traffic they're receiving from paid, um, obviously it's profitable or else they wouldn't be running it for over a year. So that's definitely something that I would look into if the skills and the experience for that. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's so true about YouTube. It's sort of like a search engine as well. A lot going there to find information. So yeah, very valid points. As for the day-to-day work on this business, can you describe the amount of work you do on this business for maintenance? Yeah. The work that we put in now is really very minimal. That was designed. So obviously when we were creating the other sites, what we wanted to be able to do is, is kind of create all the SOPs for the people in place for it and then they just follow the SOPs and it just grows on itself. We've always had our own kind of separate businesses as well. So it was important that we created this as hands off as possible. And these days, you know, there's not any time really that we spend on this site that it, they're just running themselves now. So you mentioned that you have people helping you run the business. Could you just tell us like which roles you've hired for and who you have in place to run those parts of the business? Yeah, so we have a VA who basically manages all the the uploads of the content, talks with the writers to kind of assign articles and stuff like that. Then we just have the writers in place who are also following SOPs on how to write the articles. Again, it's, we tidied that up. We've, in the past, possibly had like you know, one or two other people on, but now we've really kind of got it down to a very minimal process and everyone knows the part that they've got to play. And yeah, it just works seamless. So it's a very simple process. And I'm sure it's stated somewhere that all those SOPs that we've got come with the business as well. Yeah, I was just going to add to that as well in terms of that. The SOPs, this is really something Andrew and I focused on a lot. As obviously he said, the main thing that we wanted from this was to be as possible. So those SOPs have just been crucial and critical in scaling it out. Just as well as we have SOPs on the content. So how the writers create the content in the specific way that we've seen that ranks best. So that's been something that we've evolved probably over the past four years now in terms of how that works and how things scale through that. But yeah, pretty much nailed it on that. Yeah, it sounds like you've got your operations organized very well. So I know the SOPs include in the sale, like you mentioned, and it's pretty hands-off business. But are there any skills or requirements for someone who's not familiar with this niche or business model? Yeah, as long as you understand the business model, it's so simple. This is the really good thing about it. And it's such an easy thing to run that, yeah, as long as you have experience with online businesses in the past, I would say, I wouldn't recommend an absolute noob who's never owned a website before to run it. But I mean, the way that we can describe it, you know, in the Skype calls after purchase, you know, we can explain it in such a simple way that it's very easy to grasp. It's very easy to understand and manage post-purchase. So yeah, hope that helps. Yeah. Like I say, it sounds like a very easy business to run. Some scaling opportunities there with the paid advertisement on YouTube. But what do you think are the biggest risks with this business that a buyer should be aware of? The biggest risks really are straying too far from the you know, the current kind of process of it all. I think going off and, and writing kind of articles on which are off topic can dilute the kind of the topics on the site and therefore affect your ranking in the future. So it really is kind of just focusing on the current sort of topics that are there and building them out, building on them updating them and as long as I say don't stray too far from that then I think you'll be fine there's not really too much of a risk there yeah absolutely it makes a lot of sense so built the business well to mitigate risk in most areas so excellent stuff overall then putting yourself in the shoes of a buyer why do you think this is a business worth buying yeah I mean I think it's definitely worth buying in the sense of like how much we've invested into content, how much we've invested into the brand as a whole. 
And then also how much effort has gone into SEO and in terms of the pure power and the amount that we've spent on links investing into the site, like it's an absolute powerhouse. So I think for those reasons, yeah, that's pretty much my reasoning behind it. you anything to add, Andrew? Yeah, as I said, it's such a great niche to kind of to go into. And it is big enough that there's still plenty of room to kind of add. So, yeah, I think it's a business worth buying into. And, you know, you can do a lot with what's there right now and with building on with more content or other affiliate deals and stuff like that. The other thing we didn't touch on that we were looking at in the past was actually to create our own product and put it on Amazon. So we previously did this successfully with another affiliate site that we had, and it was just insanely profitable. It was really, really good. So that's another thing that I would do on top of paid and on top of YouTube is actually down looking at all the previous data on Amazon and figuring out which product you could actually get created or even dropship and have that as the number one product for that particular topic on the site. I think that's just such a great way of you know, maximizing the traffic that it already has and then obviously making more on the back end on top of that. Absolutely. Yeah, that's certainly a solid strategy to secure the business earnings, something even by the business could certainly consider. Excellent stuff. So regarding the sale of this business, would you commit to a non-compete? Yeah, that would be totally fine for that. Yeah, commit to that. Yeah, it's absolutely fine. Excellent. And how much support are you willing to offer buyers? Are you going for the standard 30 days of email and Skype support? Yeah, I mean, I think that that makes sense. Like based on the previous sites that we've sold, I feel like it's more than enough, especially with the SOPs and whatnot. Like there's a lot of like key questions you can answer within an hour. And um, because the site is so simple to run, there's really not a lot that obviously goes into it in terms of questions and things like that but obviously you know andrew and i are fully available to answer anything any and every question that the buyer might have so that's absolutely fine and you're open to negotiating something like an earnout yeah i think it would just really depend on the deal structure i mean we're definitely not crossing it out it would just have to be based on the deal that gets presented it's fine okay anything else you'd like to share that i might have missed no i can't think of anything no i think we covered pretty much everything there Brilliant. Well, thank you very much for your time. It's been great talking to you both. Yeah, thank you as well. All right, everyone. Thanks for listening. To learn more and see if this listing has already been sold, head over to empirephilippers.com forward slash marketplace and search for listing 55427. If you're watching this on YouTube, click the link in the description to go straight to the listing. Once you've unlocked this listing, you'll be given everything you need to know about this business. So until next time, enjoy your digital journey.